simulation is being increasingly utilized in nursing education, allowing students to integrate classroom theory with nursing skills in a lifelike clinical setting. In fall 2011, NCSBN is kicking off the National Simulation Study, a landmark multi-site investigation exploring the roles and outcomes of simulation in clinical nursing education. This project is groundbreaking when it comes to nursing education, as a simulation study of this magnitude has never been implemented before. NCSBN's National Simulation Study will observe the knowledge and clinical competency outcomes of students who volunteer to participate when simulation technology is used for clinical experiences. Clinical experience deals with real patients, while simulation is the process by which real-life scenarios are presented using computerized mannequins. These state-of-the-art mannequins can be programmed to respond to clinical situations in a manner similar to human patients. The study will follow nursing students from 10 different schools and determine the impact simulation has on educational experience. This will be done through testing nursing knowledge, review of grade point averages and NCLEX scores, and yearly competency assessments. As student volunteers complete their education, the study will stick with them in the professional world to monitor their progress as newly graduated nursing professionals. Not being able to predict what's going to happen, not being able to predict what the patient's going to say or how they're going to react to your care, really just gives you a broader perspective of, of what to expect and just to give you a little bit more experience as well. You can learn a lot and you can do a lot more things in sim lab because they're not real people than you can't do in the hospital setting. You as the nursing student who is acting as a nurse in sim, um, they can call the doctor if they need something. When you're in clinical setting, your nurse you're following is the one who's going to call the doctor. In simulation, that student can come in and act like a nurse. Faculty can act like doctors, they can act like family members. It's a great scenario for the student to really get into the role that that student will be in when he or she graduates. Student volunteers who choose to participate in the study will be separated into three groups. The first group, or the control group, will spend 10% or less of their clinical time in simulation which is the same amount of simulation that students currently receive in nursing programs. The second group will spend 25% of their clinical time in simulation. And the third group will spend 50% of their clinical time in simulation. These groups will be randomized equally. Study participants will not have the option to select the groups they are in. Rather, participants will be randomly placed in the control group the 25% simulation group, or the 50% simulation group. All students will have both simulation and clinical experiences. After randomization, participating students will attend simulation and clinical experiences according to the study schedule. The schedule will be customized at each participating nursing school. In order to track the results of the study, Participants will need to complete surveys and be assessed for clinical competency. A specially selected and trained study team will conduct the study at each participating school. Members of the study team will be responsible for implementing the study and ensuring that participants are comfortable and fully knowledgeable about the study and their progress. The study teams will provide a high level of oversight to ensure each school and participant is acting in ordinance with the study guidelines and goals. By the end of the National Simulation Study, researchers will have a better understanding of the role of simulation in nursing education. Remember, the study is voluntary, but it is only through student volunteers stepping forward to assist researchers that we can understand how to best utilize instructional methods to impact the way nursing students are educated in the future. For more information about the National Simulation Study and to learn how you can participate, please visit ncsbn.org.